Hello Masoka Universe. I look wild for this fifth part of the Jersey review. I just realized, but you know, just put the girls to bed in a way. Um, today I'm wearing a Netherlands jersey, this time from a manufacturer, and again I'm messing up from a manufacturer that's actually manufacturing the team uh, jerseys for this year's World Cup as well as the Netherlands also have Nike still have Nike. I mean, Netherlands and Nike, I think it's a, exists since late 96, early 97. So a pretty long partnership already. And yeah, we'll see a uh, women's jersey, the first dedicated Dutch women's jersey. Overall, this group is an interesting mix, but I gotta say it is weighed down by the top seeded team, which is the one that we look first, which is Canada. Those are, to me, the most boring jerseys of the entire World Cup. And I don't understand why. This is a Nike creation, and all they gave Canada is a red jersey with a horrible crest. And the most boring numbering style, in a way. There is really not much to it. Uh, it's all red. Done. Uh, I cannot say more is boring as can be. The crest is... I don't know why, they, why Canada doesn't have a better crest. Just stick a maple leaf on there and it's better. To me, boredom doesn't mean it's been a bad jersey, but it won't get high grade. So this is a four-star jersey. And the same thing goes for the away jersey, which to me is maybe slightly more interesting because the swoosh is black and the crest is mostly red with black. So that makes a little bit of sense. And then with red numbers, still doesn't get much better. It's a plain white jersey. I would have wished there's a little bit more done here. So we're pretty quickly done with that one. I also give this four stars. Um, just doesn't look good. Let's get to something more interesting, which is the new Cameroon jerseys. After years with Puma, I think the first time that we saw Cameroon with Puma was at the 98 World Cup, as far as I remember. Somewhere around 98, Cameroon pulled with Puma. But they couldn't get an agreement. And now Le Coq Sportif is making the Cameroon jerseys. And this is the first version. This is really very recent. This was done for the African Cup Nations and the Women's World Cup. So the same design will be worn for both and we will first review it for the Women's World Cup. At first, yeah, classic Cameroon jersey. Green. Um, I'm missing a little bit the red on that one, but you have the Cameroon crest. On the right you have the lion. On the left and I again completely messed up into the Cox Sportif logo in the middle. I don't necessarily like the green uh, uh, neck around. I think it should go all, all, all around or, you know, put a little bit of red in there. That's missing to me. And then you have two more lions on both shoulders. This is the old style Cameroon lion that we had, I think, right up until, um, I want to say 2008, maybe 2010. Uh, the old lion that was on there doubled up. I mean, they're facing each other. It's honestly a little bit too much. I think one lion would have perfectly done and this would be a great jersey. That, that, that way it's a little bit too much in my uh, thinking. But yeah, it's an interesting jersey, that's for sure. I think it's overall a nice one. Um, when you watch it in play, it passes the smell test. Um, I wish the greens maybe a little bit uh, more um, saturated. And that there's a little bit red on there, and for that I only give this seven stars. And the away jersey does the same thing in yellow. It's absolutely the same thing in yellow, <laughs> more or less which are yellow for green. Um, also not much reason to give it uh, more uh, stars or less stars than that. I think this is exactly what you would expect. A yellow jersey. So a gift is also seven stars. I think it's a nice try, especially uh, putting it together so quickly. Also an interesting style with just the upper part here kind of cut off. So that definitely makes it interesting to look at. But you know, um, one lion I think would have done. And yeah, I, will, I don't know how I would have done it better, but I think the two lions, that's a little bit overkill to me personally. But seven stars, I think it's a good Cameroon jersey and it's interesting to see Le Coq Sportif again with Cameroon. Let's go Nike and we'll first go to way down under. <laughs> it's not even down under, it's beyond that. New Zealand, uh, where you've seen 
in my top 10 video that I ranked the New Zealand uh, away jersey already pretty high. Let's look first at the home jersey, which is white. They are the all whites. I have made the rent be the all blacks. I think it would look so much better. But the jersey actually does have a nice feature. I mean, it's white. It has the silver fern as the crest, which I like. New Zealand football with black numbers and also the black taping. So it also makes a whole lot of sense. And then you have all the silver fern on the sleeves. My only complaint is you don't really see it because it's a very bright silver. I think make it a little bit uh, darker to see it. But it looks overall nice, but it is also bordering a little bit the boring part. And for that reason, I'm only inclined to give this, although I really like the idea. And as we will see, the away jersey is pretty much the same design, just switch black for white. But since you don't see the silver ferns on there, I'm only inclined to give this six stars. I already spoiled it. The away jersey does the same thing, but on black, the silver fern pattern on the sleeves is just popping and makes for a wonderful, wonderful jersey. I absolutely love this one. I love it as a women's version, even better than the men's. I already like the men's jersey a whole lot, but uh, giving it for women, it's even better. I mean, the floral pattern, then even on the taping you have the Southern Cross, which is also on the home jersey. This is an awesome jersey. This is one that I really would like to own. Uh, black is always beautiful, especially for New Zealand, Then you get the silver fern, then you have the silver fern pattern, and look at the realism of it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous jersey, and I have no choice other than giving this a full 10 stars. And that leads us, and I think this video is actually quite shorter than previous ones, because there's not much to talk about for most of the jerseys, to be honest. But it leads us straight to the Dutch, which definitely have the most interesting jersey. When I saw this one, I thought this is genius. Um, you have orange, and then you have an orange gradient, uh, which with a geometric pattern. My first thought when I saw this was, uh, this is homage to the 1988 um, Euro winning jersey, similar geometric pattern. I actually, it also reminds me of the 2014 away jersey, uh, and I know that there was rumors that the home jersey will do something differently. I think they pulled this out here as well. Um, but it's not only a homage to that particular jersey, it is also the tulip, which is an, a Dutch national flower that's kind of in this whole thing. And if you look at it, there is a flowery part to it. Seen by itself, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it, especially I love when my Dutch jerseys come with white accents and not with black accents like the current home jersey does. Um, the crest is, of course, the new lioness crest. So you have here the lion, uh, which is the full lion's mane. Whereas if you see here the women's version, uh, it's of course a female lion, which they don't have a mane, so I, I, I absolutely love this touch, and this is the first time that they made a dedicated jersey with that. Um, the lion is also featured on the back in the taping, and the back of the otherwise is plain. However, when I watched this jersey live, um, I realized two things. A, the white is not really white, it's more a cream color, and then given this gradient, it doesn't let the jersey pop as much as, for instance, this very plain 2014 home jersey does. So while I love the design, I love the idea, I absolutely love everything about it, it honestly, seeing it live, it doesn't look as great as it could. Which is a shame. I mean, I absolutely would love to own this jersey as well. But I think it just this fade here, I would like to have a little bit of stronger fade of, uh, shade of orange. That's what's missing here. The cream color, I think white would look better as well. Gives it a little bit of a stronger feel. And for that reason, I initially was thinking 10, but after having seen it live, I only will give this eight stars. But I like the overall idea. There are a lot of many good things on there, but I think the jersey misses, misses the punch, the full orange punch. It is a little bit um, deflated by the lighter orange. Fitting maybe for a female jersey, but it's just something a little bit missing for that. Similar to the England jersey, eight stars. I really like almost everything about it. It just is not perfect. And that's down to the cream color and that the jersey is not bright enough to me. And it's mostly worn in all orange, which also uh, lacks then a little bit. The impact of the jersey is even diminished with that because you have so much orange going on uh, for the rest of the kit. 
The away jersey is the same as the men are using. They were wearing in the Nations League final. And I have to say, as far as Dutch away jerseys goes, and you, I have a video on uh, Nations League review, uh, link up here. I saw it, I said it in my review of the uh, Nations League final. This jersey does not make the cut for me. Yes, it references this famous 1988 pattern slightly. But if you look at it, the lines and so on, I mean, if the player moves and you have a close-up, the jersey seems to switch shades on you, which it's maddening. It's absolutely uh, epilepsy-inducing at times. In addition, the light blue is not a color like. I like my Dutch jerseys in a darker blue, if, if it has to be blue. And then there's absolutely no orange present. I think make the lion orange, make the swoosh orange, make the numbers orange, give me some orange. The only orange that's present there is on the inside of the collar and you don't even see the crown. Make the taping orange, make the lion on the taping orange. I mean, at least they have the female lion again, which is a good touch. But I gotta say, this jersey is awful. Uh, as a Dutch jersey goes, I really, really, really do not like it. Um, the last Dutch away jersey that I really liked was the 2014 away jersey, which I regret not having. So I will stick with my rating for this one for three stars. Uh, not only is the pattern epilepsy inducing, but in addition, the shade and the colors, it just doesn't scream Netherlands to me. And for that reason, I can give it only three stars. As I said, this was a little bit short to review because the Canada jersey, not much to talk about. The New Zealand jerseys are um, pretty much copies of each other and also very quickly described. Cameroon, it's two versions, two colors, just a Dutch jersey. There was a lot to talk about. Anyway, I want to know what you thought about these jerseys, uh, how you like and dislike them. I would really like to see your grades. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.